welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make white chocolate and raspberry ganache. It's a really straightforward and simple recipe. This is a great recipe to know because it's a good base for a lot of desserts. It's a great filling for macarons, which I will do in another episode, don't you worry. You can also put it on the base of like a cheesecake, you can put it throughout a cheesecake, you can put it on top of ice cream. I don't know about Flavia, but I eat this on its own. It's not so healthy, but I love it. And yeah, let's get started. These are the ingredients you're going to need to get started. Two teaspoons of thickened cream, 350 grams of white chocolate, and 100 grams of raspberries. I'm using frozen because they're not in season for me at the moment, but it works well with either of them. Okay, and that's all you need. Let's get started. Okay, so first what we're going to do is put our berries into a small saucepan and put them on a medium-high heat until they start to cook through and disintegrate. Very nice. Once your berries start to heat up, we're going to use a little fruit masher and just kind of mix it around and help it break up even more. Once your berries have all melted and you've mushed them up all delicious like this, turn it to a low heat and then add your cream. Keep it on a low heat and add your white chocolate. And then just stir on a low heat until it's all melted. Now, I do like the seeds in my ganache. Of course, if you don't like the seeds, just strain it before you add the cream and the chocolate. When all the white chocolate has just melted, you don't want this to be really hot. Again, mine took about five minutes to fully melt the chocolate at a low temperature. We're gonna take it off the heat and let it cool, and then we're done. It's great. Okay guys, so that's how you make my white chocolate and raspberry ganache. As I said, it's a really quick and straightforward recipe. It's so easy and it's delicious. The sweet white chocolate goes perfectly with the tart raspberries. And again, I like the seeds in mine. If you don't, you can strain the fruit before adding everything else. And yeah, so just keep it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. It can last for up to about five days to a week, but I always eat it before then, so I don't actually know if it lasts that long. Um, but yeah, and... I'm gonna definitely put these in some either macarons. I'm gonna put on top of ice cream. I'm so excited right now. But yeah, Flavia, you gotta come try this, my girl. Let's eat. Yum. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh. It's just basically. Oh, yum. Like, I don't know if I knew anyone else used to do this, but I would intentionally melt my chocolate and, like, drizzle it into my mouth. I was an interesting child, but like I would just love having melted chocolate. Most people love eating it, but I would just like, oh. And so this to me is just like heaven. And it's it's kind of healthy because it's got fruit in it, right? It's <laughs> not, but. <laughs> you can try and convince yourself that. But yes, I love this ganache, especially on macarons. Her favorite are white chocolate and raspberry macarons, which I will make soon. And we will film. And we will film. Show you. But we might eat all of this before that happens. I wish I had some ice cream right now. Well, let's go buy some. Come on. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.